This is South Korea. In this video, I will be taking you with me to Seoul, Busan, and even take a glimpse into North Korea. Before creating this video, I knew nothing about Korean culture, the absolutely gorgeous sights in Korea, the immersive experiences available to us, and just how delicious Korean street cuisine is. We will also learn about Korea's war-torn history and how it has shaped the country over the decades. Decades. I put in an enormous amount of effort to film, research, edit, and produce the South Korea experience you're watching right now. There will be 19 of us enjoying this trip as a celebration of my Lola Cora's 87th birthday. Let's begin this incredible trip in the Philippines where my family gathered to celebrate and prepare for our first trip to the land of morning calm. We're going to be surprising her with balloons as she enters the room for her birthday. So I'm going to be inside and Aryan will be outside. Tita Edith and I are going to her room and we're going to hide under the covers. <laughs> yes, who's, who's there? Welcome. Welcome to room 930 for your birthday. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm here. I'm here. Lola was looking for you. Wow. Picture, picture. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to capture moments like these with my family and keep them forever. It is the morning of my Lola's birthday. Happy birthday. I haven't seen her in two weeks. I went yeah. to Thailand. This time we're here at New World. It's yeah. the second time to be here and enjoy this place. The buffet looks amazing. It's always a challenge to fit us all into a picture. We're going to be taking a big family photo. A running joke in our family is that we would need a school bus to get us all somewhere together. Even though 19 of us are going to Korea, that's only half of my family on my mom's side. A special feeling comes over me whenever I'm traveling to new places with loved ones. I'm grateful to be able to share that feeling with you through this video. Who is this person? <laughs> the love of my life. After a short flight, we made it to Korea. I'm excited now. I just got like, oh my gosh, we're going to Korea. We're in Korea. <laughs> we enjoyed the sunrise as we drove into Seoul and I felt Seoul waking up. We were hungry from our travel and I never thought I would say this, but we had Korean barbecue for breakfast. In Korean, dong means neighborhood. Myeongdong is a good place to start when visiting Seoul. Myeongdong is famous for its vibrant night market. Starting at 4 p.m. and open seven days a week, this night market has over 100 delicious street food stalls. A wide variety of delicious smells fills the air. It's inevitable for your mouth to water. Rows of unique foods you've never ever seen before ignite your curiosity and adventurousness. Cleanliness is not something you have to worry about. It's as comfortable of an experience as it is flavorful. I found the winner for me and it's going to be the lamb skewer. We're gonna check it out right now. Are you ready? I'm so, so excited. Hungry. <laughs> the little lamb did not disappoint. Hello. Hi. Two friends, they're from France. Nice yeah, from the south of France. Yes. Beautiful girls. Yes. <laughs> the first night in Thailand, we had a strawberry mochi. Now, first day in Korea. I got the mochi. Mango and strawberry. Oh. Hey. oh, that looks so good. Yeah, that's so good. Strawberry? Strawberry. Strawberry time. This little guy. Oh! It looks like a big It's like a booty. Let's go. Oh. Oh, snap. So good. Beef is the most precious meat in Korea. Hanwu is a breed of small cattle indigenous to Korea. This beef is raised on very specific guidelines and regulated by the government. Receiving beef as a gift in Korea is a gesture of respect, bonding, and generosity. Out of all the street food I tried during my time in Korea, the beef steak you're seeing right now was the most tender, flavorful, and mouth-watering of them all. Other favorites of our included the literal grilled cheese with white sweet cream sauce and the torched frozen marshmallow with chocolate ice cream inside. Your eyes and your mouth will love the night market in Myeongdong. 
Growing up with three sisters, I was exposed to movies like The Princess Diaries. In Seoul, you can visit Gyeongbokgung Palace. There is a fee to enter the palace. However, if you opt to wear a handbook, you can gain free admission to this stunning Korean palace. Gyeongbokgung means palace greatly blessed by heaven. The beauty of the palace grounds truly reflects this meaning. Hello. Hello. Where are you from? Seoul, Seoul. Korea, Korea. Can 안녕하세요. You... 안녕하세요. Notice the colorful underhangs of the rooftops of the buildings. If the overhangs are colorful, a female member of the royal family took possession of the place. If the overhangs are dull and gray, the king or male member of the royal family took possession of the place. The immersive feeling you possess when you wear a handbook and see other people enjoying the royal grounds in their handbooks makes this experience a must when visiting Seoul. You can also visit Changdeokgung Palace, the palace of prospering value, which offers similar sights and experiences. But I would recommend choosing one or the other when planning out your visit to Seoul. Anywhere you find yourself in Seoul, you may spot a tower overlooking the city. This tower is called Namsan Seoul Tower and it is the highest point of Seoul. Namsan Seoul Tower is known around the world for the locks of love at its base. Couples flock here to lock their love for eternity. We have just arrived here at Namsam Tower. There's an amazing view of Seoul from here. It reminds me of that Views album cover where he's sitting on the edge of this tower. Why is a change in perspective so powerful? A change in perspective can completely change the way we see our past mistakes and frame them as necessary pain to help us grow into the people we were meant to become. Open-mindedness, understanding, and putting ourselves in other people's shoes help us to get to know the people we love love and loved more deeply. Aryan said this is the milk that you should get when you go to Korea. Banana, strawberry, melon. Let's start with the melon. Mm, don't finish it. It is good actually. <laughs> Sometimes with drinks, they have the flavor, but it's not like the flavor, but it actually tastes like the flavor. Bananas. It's really good. It's really good. Bananas. It's good. It's sure. really good actually. Better than melon? I think they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. Yeah. I like the melon more. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, strawberry. Yeah. It's I really good. I want the melon. <laughs> okay, one, melon. Second is strawberry. Third is banana. Number one, strawberry. Two, no offense to mom, banana. <laughs> number three is melon. One, strawberry. Two is melon. <laughs> I think what would be good is strawberry banana. Have the strawberry banana flavor. What do you mean? Oh, wait, can I? Whoa. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Why can't you do mm. that with the melon, though? Who Please wants strawberry. a strawberry melon? <laughs> <laughs> like My favorite flavor is melon banana. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Welcome to Starfield Library in Gangnam, Seoul. This incredibly unique library is located in the largest underground shopping center in Asia, Coex Mall. This is one of the places in Korea you really can't miss. I was in awe of the 42 feet, 13 meter tall bookcases that are so tall you need an escalator. It is the perfect day to come here because it's raining outside. It's been really good to stay indoors and enjoy this beautiful library and show you guys what it's like inside of here. A book that I think could change your perspective on all aspects of life is The Things You Can Only See When You Slow Down by Hyman Soonim. Now come with us to the Korean War Memorial to get a better understanding of how the Korean War has shaped Korea over the decades. We've just arrived at the Korean War Memorial. Let's explore it together. The Korean War was waged between North and South Korea from 1950 to 1953. North Korean forces crossed the 38th parallel with the objective to spread communism worldwide. Seoul changed hands four times, first taken by North Korea, retaken by UN forces, captured by the Chinese, then reclaimed by South Korea. The Korean War never ended. An armistice or agreement made by both sides stopped the fighting. The DMZ or militarized zone was made in order to return prisoners back to their home countries and negotiate towards an agreement that can finally end the conflict. Good morning you guys. No trip to Korea would be complete without going to the DMZ. I hope you guys enjoy.
I didn't expect to feel the deep sadness that I felt when visiting the DMZ. It's as if North and South Korea are siblings who had an enormous fight and never forgave each other. When you visit the DMZ, there are echoes of crying from the pain of fighting, screaming from the horror of what has happened, and begging to make Korea whole again. Forgiveness is a voluntary decision to let go of your anger and bitterness. It might feel good to hang on to anger for a time, but the cost is that it rots your happiness and corrupts your soul. Forgiveness can free you from anger and the control a person has over your thoughts. You can learn to be more empathetic and compassionate for the people who have hurt you the most when you practice forgiveness. You'll never forget or excuse the pain they have caused you. It doesn't mean the person you've hurt will come back to your life. However, forgiveness can bring peace and momentum to go on. I believe the world would learn so much if ever North and South Korea were united once again. I want to thank you for staying with us to this point in the video. We truly appreciate you. We have boarded a train to Busan. We're going to get to Busan in about two and a half hours. My goal with every video is to maintain a sense of curiosity and adventurousness. We have just arrived in Busan and I can't wait to go around to the beaches here. Busan is our final destination of this incredible trip. We only have one day here and during this limited time, I'm going to show you some of the most magnificent highlights of the Busan coast. Hyundai Beach, a white sand beach that is the most famous and iconic in Busan. Hyundai Beach reminds me of my time in California and the memories I made in Santa Monica and Venice Beach. So far in my travels, Hyundai Beach takes the top spot in cleanliness, which is incredible considering how close it is to the bustling cityscape. From Hyundai Beach, you can see a white lighthouse in the distance. This lighthouse overlooks the Kwangon Bridge or Diamond Bridge. This is the first bi-level bridge I've ever seen. Not only does traffic flow on top, but there is a level below where even more vehicles can traverse. Kwang Ali Beach faces Kwangan Bridge. The car chase in Marvel's Black Panther starring Chadwick Boseman was filmed in the Kwangali Beach area. Close by, the best hiking trail in Busan, the Ikidai Coastal Walk, leads to the Oriokdo Skywalk. It's from here you can enjoy a painting-like view of the Oriokdo Islets, a group of islands that some say are the most beautiful, not only in Busan, but in all of Korea. Learning is essential to human existence. A commitment to continuous learning and openness to new ideas and ways of thinking nourishes our minds. Learning can expand your horizons farther than you ever thought possible. To my mind, the most attractive benefit of learning is elimination of stagnation and the chance to reach your full and destined potential.